Hey, what's up, you guys? This is Sentai22 here with a Super Sentai review for you. And today I'll be checking out the Deluxe Deca Ranger Robo from Tokuzo Sentai's Deca Ranger. Now, Deca Ranger is uh, one of my personal favorite series. Uh, this was the series that got me into the whole Super Sentai franchise. Um, before Deca Ranger, you couldn't find anything on Super Sentai that much. I mean, there were pictures of the original um the original series but never you know clips or full episodes i think the only uh the only uh sentai that i could find was the full clip of the full movie of the opera ranger uh the movie uh actually i forgot the name of it but yeah but it was very difficult to find until i went to this site called tv nihon uh, which was probably the only subgroup that subbed uh, Toku. Uh, they did anime as well, but uh, they also did uh, Toku as well. So I downloaded the first episode of Deca Ranger, and then after that, I fell in love with the series right away as well. Uh, don't get me wrong, I still like Power Rangers. I think both series are great in their own right, you know, with in terms of character development and plots and all that stuff. And I don't really you know try to pick sides or anything like that but uh, you know both series are great you know because it gives you a chance to see how the originals are being made and then after that you can start to look uh, what's coming next year um, don't get me wrong sometimes both sides have their flaws I mean if you look at what's going on with Samurai they're trying to uh, copy Shinkanger and if you look at Go Anger, it looks wacky but they did they really did a good job in RPM so both sides like I said have their flaws so uh, yeah okay getting too distracted there so here we have the Deca Ranger Robo in its box as you can see very nice packaging you have the uh, Deca Ranger team right here very nice as well as the vehicles that combine to form Deca Ranger Robo you can see look in the back you have all of the uh, other uh, Deca Ranger mechas here you have um, Deca Bike Robo that you can transform into a bike and ride on the bike and then transform into uh, Deca Ranger Bike Robo I think I forgot the name of it also you have uh, Deca Ranger uh, Deca Base Robo so alright time to open it up and see what kind of goodies we have in here so here we go Okay, here it is. Here are all the five vehicles that combine with to form the uh, Deca Ranger Robo. Now, let me show you Pat Striker first. As you can see, for those of you who are familiar with the latest Sentai series, Go Kaiger, the anniversary series, uh, they use a different version of the Pat Striker as the auxiliary mech for Go Kaio. So you can see very nice you look at uh, closely have the uh, logo right there got the one number there SPD really awesome got nice uh, wheels there go very well next we have uh, Pat trailer as you can see kinda looks like a futuristic uh, trailer there tractor trailer very nice. Here we have the Pat Signer. If you open this part up here, it'll act um, as kind of like, yeah, obviously a signer. A sign, you could, there's like uh, little clipboards in the box, which I will show you guys in about a few. So, next here we have. Uh, Pat armor. Uh, the special accessory comes with the sword here in the back, and you can just take it out. And last but not least, uh, Pat gyre. So you can see, you got it's kind of like a mixture between a helicopter and a hovercraft, you could say. And the here on 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 the cup here has like these uh, guns.
and also a very special accessory this comes with handcuffs but you have to take it out which I'm not going to be doing right now I'm just going to show you guys the sword and the signs that's all alright now to form Deca Ranger Robo you have to push the legs like this Now the best part about it is is that um, this is the only uh, vehicle that has electronics so uh, one thing I like about it is it makes these kind of really awesome noses when you try to put them together so just uh, turn the switch on here and it'll kind of it'll make a noise similar to the SP license see so once you uh, try to um, transform it and make these awesome noises or well, actually when you combine them so see and just uh, fold the fist here, it's in the bottom of pat armor. I actually have to take this part out. Like that. This thing goes for pat signer. Put, you can put this back into place. And here we go. And there you have it, the Decker Ranger Robo. Very nice. Now, as I mentioned, let me show you guys the accessories. Um, here we have the sword here. Well, this actually acts, if you guys probably remember one of the episodes, uh, they use this as kind of like a uh, a a, a, a um, loudspeaker, and uh, as well, you can turn it into a sword if you like. And as I mentioned, um, they have like these uh, special cardboard plates that you can put in the signage. Let me turn off the electronics first, which I will show you. Alright, here we have the cardboard signs that you can put on Pat's signer. Um, you have the SPD logo there, you have the uh, Guilty X, you have the Jail logo, you have, I don't even know what these two are. And of course you have SPD only. I'm just going to put the SPD badge. Well, for some reason I can't fully get it in there, but you kind of see the idea of what these things do. And as you can see, I'll give you a little close-up shot of... Uh, 
Decker Ranger Robo, very awesome. You close your shot of the face there. Nice. Now, in terms of posability, you can move legs, which is very rare in Super Sentai, um, a toy max. Very nice. It's like he's walking. Same goes for the arms. And uh, like RoboCup, if, as you guys seen on on the on the show, uh, the the uh, legs open to reveal the weaponry. As you can see, you got the gun there. Very nice. So. All right, guys. Uh, uh, for those of you who are wondering what is the difference between the Decker Ranger Robo and the Delta Squad Megazord from Power Rangers SPD. Well, the uh, wheels on the vehicles, they're missing silver paint here. It's, I think it's mostly black. I'm talking about the rims. The rims don't have any paint on them. Mostly black paint, that's about it. And I believe this part here is missing. Um, but all in all, it's pretty much the same as the Japanese version. You have all the lights and sounds and all that. Same, same thing. So, alright guys, uh, that's about it. Hope you guys um, enjoyed my review. Uh, please comment and subscribe. This is Sentai22 and happy holidays.